Hey everyone, welcome back to Only Nature. My name is Tom and today I'm doing an unboxing of the Garden Nature solar powered Wi-Fi bird box camera. It's going to be interesting, so let's check it out. Now before I get into this, I just want to say a huge thank you to Garden Nature for sponsoring this video. I'm really excited to see what's inside, so let's go for it. Okay, so this is how it arrived. I'm just going to open it up and see what is inside. Okay. So this is the camera ready bird box. We'll get into that in just a second. And here is, how oh, it's heavy. Okay, so this is the solar panel with the camera inside this box. And the great thing about this solar panel is you can actually take it off the wall and charge it independently without interfering with the birds inside the, the bird box. So, really cool, really cool feature. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Okay, so inside we've got the instruction manual for the solar powered battery Wi-Fi bird box camera. And here is, wow, the solar panel. And then on the back, it's got the mounting plate and USB charging port. So that's really cool. Some weight there. And also in the box, we have the mounting bracket, wall mounting bracket for the solar panel, the cable, and the Wi Fi Bird Box battery camera. So let's just have a quick look inside. Okay. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. It's got the mountain bracket on the back. Charge at the bottom. Very nice little camera. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the bird box, just as it comes in its box, before having a closer look at everything else. It's inside. Wow, looks really nice. Yeah. Wow, it's really big. <laughs> Okay, so there is the bird box, looks really great. One of the really cool things about this bird box is these windows on both sides. So that'll actually give you that daylight image inside, which I think looks really good. It's got drainage holes on the bottom. And it's got a really nice roof on top. So I'm really excited to try this out. Okay, now we can get a closer look. I'll talk a bit about some of the specs. This is a 3 megapixel camera, it has two internal batteries, a light sensor, night vision, microphone, motion detector, and a built-in 32 gigabyte micro SD card. That means you can record for up to 80 hours of footage. As for the solar panel, it has six integrated batteries, it comes with a 2.4 meter cable, adjustable mount and has a weatherproof rating IP66. The solar panel can also be individually charged via micro USB, meaning that it can always hold power without disturbing the bird box. Once you have successfully connected the camera to the app, it's just a case of putting everything together. Start by first removing the whole cover on the box and sliding out the top section. Then make sure to connect the cable to the camera before mounting it to the plate. Position the cable and reattach the front plate. However, you may want to keep this off until the bird box is fixed into place. Remove the small cable holder on the side and fix back into place. Now it's up to you if you want to attach the whole plate, but for now I'm leaving mine off. Now to prepare the solar panel. Remove all six screws on the rear plate, then carefully remove all six batteries and peel off each sticker. 
ensure the solar panel is turned on and you're good to go. Now when you've got everything set up it's time to finally mount that wall bracket to the back plate of the solar panel and then it's time to hang it on the wall but before doing that I'd highly recommend just checking that you're happy with the position of the camera inside the bird box. Where you choose to hang the bird box is completely up to you. Obviously the beauty of this system is that you're not relying on a power supply, anything like that. You're not trailing wires across your garden. So you could have this on the side of a shed, on the side of your garage, in a tree. It's completely up to you. But I have already picked out the spot that I think is going to work best. So it's time to go hang it. And that's it. So the bird box is up and running on my wall. Now, I didn't think I'd have any footage to show you of birds using the bird box by the time I wanted to get this video out. But just two days after hanging the bird box, a blue tit was spotted inside. I got the notification on the app. And the following week, the blue tit returned again. And just the other day, I had a great tit as well. So incredible. I, I, I can't believe they actually found it so quickly i mean it is the time of year that they will start looking but I, it still kind of took me by surprise so really pleased that i could show some of this footage with you um as again because i thought i'd have to do a follow-up video which i will be doing so if you want to check that out then please subscribe but for right now it's just great to see that they've actually found it and that they're actually potentially looking to nest there now before i go i'll talk a bit about the app and general usage of it so far and how it's been going on. I didn't actually film myself connecting the camera to the app, which I should have done, but actually it turned out to be really simple. All you have to do is connect it to your Wi-Fi. You turn on the camera till these blinking lights appear. A QR code will appear on the screen of the app and you scan that with the camera and that's it, it's connected. It actually talks to you, which I wasn't expecting at the time, when the camera says that it is connected. So really simple, it's in the instruction manual, there should be no issue with anybody connecting that. I've, I found it to be really, really good. And continuing with the app itself, I found it to be really easy, it's really simple. Once you've got the hang of just playing around with it, you'll have no trouble going around, looking through the playback features, looking at the notifications. I do tend to like clear them after I've seen them so I know which is the most up to date. And it's just generally been a really good experience with the app and watching the camera. As for the playback features, I've actually found that it's best if you get that notification on your phone of birds in the box, press the record button straight away and just record it there and then if you're watching them live. Because sometimes the playback did cut off a little bit shorter than what I'd actually watched live. So I definitely recommend to do that if that's what you're wanting to achieve, if you wanted to record that footage. Now one day my camera actually went offline and I was worried that I would have to take it out of the box to reconnect it. But I can say it was actually just a fault with my internet and I simply turned off my router and the camera reconnected itself once it was all back on, up and running. So really great. I was kind of worried that it might be an issue if I had to take it out and adjust it again or reconnect it with the app, but not at all. It was simply my Wi-Fi out in the country. It's not that great. So sometimes it'll disconnect and simple enough, it just reconnected. So if you that's something you've been worried about with it being over Wi-Fi, Honestly, it's been great. It's been a really solid system with strong connections, so I wouldn't have any worries there. And yeah, really pleased to say that it actually reconnected. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've made it this far, then please like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Is this system for you? Is this something you're interested in having or seeing in the future? I'll definitely come back and do a video hopefully if birds nest inside the box and i'll share footage and talk a bit about it then 
As for right now, really pleased with the whole thing. I love it, it looks great, it's working really well, so I can't wait to do more with it. So thank you again for watching, thank you to Garden Nature, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.